The Global Options Menu. The Global Options Menu is easily accessed from within the main menu. File Manager, F. I just pressed the function key F1 to get to the main menu underneath Settings. The shortcut key for that is the letter S. Time and, date, T. and I can either press space with dot four to move down through this menu. Set up internet I. Bluetooth manager B. Menu manager M. Or I can just press the letter O Rail display, B. On list to get into the global options menu. So there are a lot of choices in here, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but what I am going to say is moving back to the main menu with function key F1. File manager F. If you don't want to access it through the menu system, you can simply press space with the letter O. Braille display B on list item. And we're back where we were initially on Braille display, which is turned on by default. So space with O is the global hotkey to get into the global options menu. And backspace with F3 is the global hotkey to turn on and off the Braille display. Yeah, we can press the space bar off. on this item and turn it off, and I see no Braille on the display. I press it again. On. Braille is back. But alternatively, from anywhere, I can press space. I can press backspace, rather. Braille off. Braille display. B. Off list item. And it actually announces Braille is off. Braille on. Braille display. Braille on. B on list item. Uh, so the voice off and on option is in this global options menu as well. And the hotkey associated with that is backspace with voice off F2. Okay. Voice on. Braille display B. On so we can button. turn off either Braille or speech, but we can't turn them off both at the same time because that would be silly. <laughs> and you wouldn't be able to access your device. So I'm not going to go through all of the options in this global options menu because the choices in here are very much up to you. Uh, those to make those decisions as to what you want set to what and it's easy enough to just navigate down through the list space with dot four rail cursor C always list item I can go back up with space with dot one rail display B on list item rail cursor C yeah you know, I'll, I'll just continue on, on down item. view input grade G contracted rail list item so there's view input grade um, I can press the space bar to change any of the items in here computer rail uh, some items are toggle. Some items have three or more options associated with them. Uncontracted Braille. Contracted Braille. And there's contracted Braille. Of course, that's my preference. And um, alternatively, there is a global hotkey for that, which is space with the letter G. Computer Braille. View input. Uncontracted Braille. Contracted Braille. View input grade. G. Uncontracted Braille list item. Okay. So I can accomplish the same thing. It's coming into the global options menu and going down to uh, uh, view input grade and pressing the space bar by simply pressing space G from anywhere and cycling between the same choices that are available here. When I'm finishing my global options menu, I can bail out without making any changes with space plus E, or I can save my changes by pressing the enter key. Option save. File Manager F. Thank you for listening.